Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the new ZE50. Now, they are putting in some production changes from the factory. Some of them I'm quite happy about, and some of them uh, not so happy about. But if you want to find out what they are, stick around for today's video, you'll find out. But first, I want to ask you to go and click that subscribe button down below. 45% of you who watch my video don't subscribe, and click that notification bell, because only 23% of you click it. Are you listening? Damn. Now, as many of you know, may know, I am a massive Zoe fan, and that is because Zoe was my first, and you never forget your first. It's the most important part of your electric car journey. Now, when I first originally saw this at the dealer demos, which are left-hand drive, the Renault Zoe front badge got changed to this lovely hologram badge. And the first thing what we know we changed, which I commented on on my review video, is that the hologram badge had gone, and they basically put the original badge that was in the ZE40s in. Uh, so yeah, that, that really bugged me when they did that. Now Renault released the car with all the other bits on, which made me still very happy. It's still a great car. It's one of the best built Renaults yet. But they're going to make some changes to the car, the badges, and we're going to go through that. And there's also going to be something really interesting happening on the ZE50s down here. Now one of the first changes is coming to the inside. Now if you want to check if your car is affected by any of the changes in this video, ring your dealer, ask the build date, and ask them to check their sales memo and they'll be able to find out if any of these bits apply to your build. But basically any cars that are built from the factory from the day this video is released will definitely, definitely, definitely have these changes on. But the first thing they're removing is, when I first tested it, it had a lovely blue circle around the Renault badge. Now, sadly, like I said, I've not got a ZE50 in today, so I can't demonstrate on a ZE50, but there was a nice blue circle around the Renault badge, nice little highlight. Uh, they're removing that and just getting rid of it. No idea why, I quite like the little highlight on it, but it's, it's not a considerably bad change. It's, some people will love it and some people will be upset. I wish that they made it more of a possible option, but they're trying to just streamline productions uh, and I get that. So yeah, that, that little blue circle's going. So if you really wanted that, sadly, I'm sorry, it's no longer available on the ZE50. Now, one thing Renault really like doing on the Zoe's is messing around and changing the interior quite frequently. For example, the 22 kilowatt, which is first in shot in this camera, has a whitey, creamy interior. The normal 22 kilowatts had more of a gray interior. Then when they come to the ZE40, they changed it to this black, dark interior. And then again, obviously, the new ZE50 had a whole new shape change. They're doing some changes to the interior again. <laughs> It's a, it must be a Renault thing. I think it depends on what they've got supply, manufacturing, and what's available. But if you've got the Iconic on order, it's going to have a different interior. It's no longer going to have this 100% recycled material inside. They're changing it for the same interior as the GT line has on the side. So you're getting a small upgrade. They're supposed to be going to change it back when they've got more supply, but it's a mix of a polymer and 100% recycled material rather than a pure 100% recycled material. Now, before I get into some of the changes that are actually going to annoy me, let's talk about the best feature that's coming out of the factory now on the new ZE50s. And that is the new cars all coming from the factory now. This, this part here is going to have an AEBS sensor. So that is an automatic braking system sensor. So if someone slams the brakes in front of you on the car, it will automatically brake for you. Now, the previous GT lines, all the other Zoe's that have been coming out of the factory ZE50, they had this little bit area sort of hologrammed in, so you, you knew something was supposed to be there, but Renault weren't fitting it to the cars, and they're only gonna start fitting it to the cars from now. Uh, I think it was the start of this month that they started fitting them, but all the new Zoe's coming out of the factory will have that sensor on now. The GT lines will include it for free, and the Iconic model, you can have it if you add it for 150 quid. Now it's very, very, very important that I mention the major part of this. It will not, and I repeat, it will not do adaptive cruise control it will only do emergency automatic braking. So you're paying 150 pound 
on the iconic model or getting it free on the GT line for just automatic safety braking. It's a safety feature that I do think is worth 150 quid, um, but personally I would have bought the GT line anyway because it's a nicer, better spec car with a 135 brake horsepower engine. But if you're wanting adaptive cruise control, the Zoe still currently does not do it. And as far as I know, Renault have no plans to currently change this. So Renault, if you're listening and watching this video to hear about what I'm about to insult in the next part, please, 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 add adaptive cruise to the ZE50. It's not a city car anymore, it's got long range, it's a great little car, it's never been really a city car, put adaptive cruise control on it. Now it's gonna make sense why I've got both cars parked in this direction and that's because both of these are the passenger sides and here's the list of things that Renault are removing from the ZE50 that actually really bug me. So first of all, all Zoe's 22 kilowatts, uh, hours 40 kilowatt hours both have these little black easy entry buttons on the door handles and they're on both sides they're on the driver's side and on the passenger side and the idea is you just come press the little button and you can open and lock the car from either side of the car which just makes life a little bit easier just just makes sense it costs what nothing hardly anything to fit these two buttons on on, on these on the side of the car does it, it costs nothing yeah the renault ze 50 from now on will no longer have it on the passenger side of the car um anymore and and the reason for it the only reason i can come up with is cost savings so uh, cheers renault I don't know why I was walking away, because I've not finished on this side of the car, have I, Renault? No, because your cost-saving exercise goes a little bit further. For example, these, these things that have been on the side of the door for as long as I can remember on the, ever on the Zoe, they're just black, like carbon fibre sticker details. If you peel them off, it's just paint underneath, always has been. Um, they are being removed but only from the black and titanium models. Now, I can understand why you're doing it. You, it's a cost-saving exercise. You're not really going to see it too much on black and titanium, but it is a detail that is noticeable on the black and titanium, and I do think it improves the look of the car. And for be honest, it's just a sticker. How much does it bloody save you in money to take this sticker off? Now, there's some things that I haven't mentioned and we'll quickly go into now. Renault have rebranded ZE, so the ZE has a new logo. Anywhere inside this car that has ZE branding will now be changed to the new ZE branding. Great, the new logo looks better. I actually prefer it to the old logo. Great improvement. Well done, Renault's design team. Absolutely fantastic. So they've changed it on the gear shift at the bottom. We'll have the new ZE logo. They obviously have these badges at the back. So you'd think they just changed this old bit to have the new logo on. Great. Now, they've not done that. They've, they've done a couple of things and some of them make sense and you have to be honest and bear with them and I agree why they've done it. So they've removed the battery size. Now the reason they've removed the battery size so they can print one badge, cost less to print, you know, cost more to print multiple badge designs. They print one badge, they stick it on the Twingo, they stick it on the van, they stick it on all the cars. Completely and utterly get why Renault have done that. What I don't get is why they removed the word electric in black half the ZE part on that side and put electric in big blue, you know, big white letters on a blue background that looks just like a cheap gel badge that you'd buy from a pound shop. I think it looks awful. I think Renault have ruined the rear design. The first thing I'd do with that badge on my car is debadge it. It looks awful. In fact, Renault, I'd rather you didn't put the badge on. Save yourself some money. Don't put it on. It looks awful. I wouldn't... If you really, really want to streamline your badges, go back to the original ZE badge that was on the 22 kilowatt with the new logo and just stick that square badge on the back. It looks nice in chrome. But this badge design I actually was my favorite one yet. It just looks so why have you switched it? Comment down below if you agree with me. Comment down below if you agree with any or disagree with any of my points. I want to know, I want feedback. I will try and feed it back to Renault and hope that they change and adapt things in the future. Renault are a great company for listening and adapting and they've made an absolute belter of a car with the ZE50. None of these things would put me off buying it. In fact, it's just getting better and better as a car, I think. It's one of the best built cars that Renault have produced. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Thank you again, and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.